Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Hope that your day is wonderful. Pooh and I are very excited this morning because we are looking at our packet of goodies that you picked up yesterday. And I just want to read you the note that it says to make sure that you know how amazing you are. It says, we are so, so proud of your hard work. Good job, kindergartners and fabulous kindergarten parents. We love and miss you and can't wait to see you again, the kindergarten teachers. All right, it starts with some math that you're going to need today. And that is pretty exciting. Some math that you're going to need today in this packet. Some social skills information that you're gonna need in this packet and some more writing books that you're going to need here. But remember what Mrs. Camilli said, you don't need to fill them all out, it's all, we just wanna make sure that those of you who are prolific, which means you write a lot, have a chance to do so. Okay, we're gonna start our conversation about today. First of all, this is your packet for social skills and this first page is the social skills focus. Moms and dads are supposed to read this and talk with you a little bit about what this week's um, objectives are, um, which is to be able to recognize and label your emotions and then to get some strategies for what you can do. Um, and there's a couple of really great books about that. One of the books that you'll listen to today is called The Field. See if I can find it in my stack of happy. Of course, it's on the bottom. It's called The Feels. Now, The Feels is a super long book, so I only read half of it today and then half of it tomorrow. And the reason it's a really long book is because Yeti takes this journey to meet her feels. So it's kind of a different idea. You're actually going to meet scared and angry and sad and worried and calm in this book. And yet he goes on this journey to meet them and then she feels them and she figures out how to take care of them because she knows she's always gonna have them. And she's thinking if she doesn't take care of them then they're just gonna pop up and she won't know what to do because they will pop up. Everybody's gonna get, has feelings. What do we do? How do we take care of our feelings? This book is a beautiful book. I suggest that you listen to it as many times as you want. Okay, same with all the other books though. I mean, watch, listen, whatever. Okay, so for word work today, you're gonna to do a quick two minute video about the AR chunk. And when we think about the AR chunk, we know that it has words like jar and car, because those are simple words. But if you want to, you can play with the AR chunk, with the A up, down, with the AR chunk, and have a lot of fun. For example, you could do par T, if car and jar are too easy for you. Or you could do marching or you could do well I'm gonna leave it up to you okay so that's your word work today um, number corner is also super exciting today um, well, you saw it the other day. It's actually the most exciting month. And the reason it's exciting is because we're starting to do equations in number corner and story problems. So not just like 2 plus 1 equals 3. We know that. But story problems such as there were two frogs sitting in my driveway. And one more frog came along and started 
croaking. How many frogs were there? So that's where you'll need this equation. But the best part about this month and today's math lesson, so I'm kind of talking about it all at the same time, is today's math lesson gives you drawings to figure things out. So I'm going to show you those drawings really quickly. Oh no, they're not very good. Well, all right, first thing to know is that at least my packet's backwards. So you want to start with this, with the one that says page one of two. It says page 19 at the bottom. And they'll tell you to go get your little orange book, but you don't have a little orange book. You have your packet. Okay, so this is what the first picture looks like. It is a log. And you can see somebody looking out. You can see frogs are looking out. So you'll talk about frogs, and then you'll try to figure out how many frogs there are behind that log. Later, you'll figure out, also today though, you'll also be asked to figure out um, when there are frogs on the log and in the water. So I strongly suggest that you get a green marker and color in your frogs to make them easier to see. Because it this is just this copy machine was not very friendly, but now you can totally see the frogs if you color them in. And you can find them because of their eyes. Um, so you'll try to figure out how many there are all together when there's some in the logs and some in the water. And then in this one, there are three frogs on the log, and there are some in the water, but you don't know how many. So they're going to tell you how many there are all together. So make sure you're doing drawings to figure it out. And think. Don't just give up and say, that's too hard. I don't know how to do that. Really think, okay? Okay, so that's math. Um, super exciting. We're going to be doing a lot of that story problem stuff. Um, over the course of the next month, and it's a big, important stuff um, to know. All right, and then that's it for today. There is a writing lesson on tomorrow's um, schedule, and if you're like gung-ho and you want to do it today, you can. It's to how to put a fix-it idea, and then Mrs. Camelli sings you, teaches you a new spelling song, since you already know how to spell B-E-C-A-U-S-E. <laughs> okay. Uh back up to the top. What was the very first thing you saw this morning before the morning message? Something different. And that was, click here for a song that will make every single day of your life better. It's the kind of song that you can sing when you feel scared or worried or sad comes along and you can use music to help you to feel better. Um, that's a tool we haven't talked a lot about, but it really connects. Hmm. Going to think about that for the future. Hope you do too. Tell your parents to find some happy tunes when you're sad. Um, okay. I think that's it for today. Have a totally beautiful, awesome day. You deserve it. I love and miss you. So too does Mrs. Camelli and Mrs. Lazine. And that's all I can think of for now. Off you go. Bye.